This is a very simple composition. A lot of people that, uh, that have the print of the painting, the visitors to their living room or wherever it happens to be hanging, don't notice there's a black wolf. They just think, oh, well, there's this snow scene with some dark forest in the background. And maybe halfway through the evening, they go, oh my gosh, there's a wolf there. Which, of course, is terrific to me. It really appeals to me they don't notice the, the wolf. Because in nature, uh, you might be out in the woods and it would be an incredible moment if you hadn't noticed at first, but you're in the presence of this wolf and it's sitting there looking at you or standing there looking at you. And I wanted you to have a kind of a spooky feeling with this wolf, which I fully admit is wrong. We should not be spooked by wolves. We've had quite enough of the propaganda, the big bad wolf and the three pigs and I'll blow your house down and all that stuff. Anti-wolf fear is pretty well entirely misplaced. And, but I wanted to see if I could paint a black wolf and a black, on a black background and play with and manipulate enough to have all the meaning that's necessary in the form in the, in the wolf's face with such a limited amount of play. So that was all very important for me to, to play with that and manipulate that. If white is zero and black is 10, there's no 10, there's no, there's no uh, full black in the Midnight Black Wolf painting. I didn't allow myself to go uh, that far into solid black.